St. Patrick High School All Tournament Team. I don't even remember this one. Which one? I really that? don't. But I know this is from Vegas. I think that was his last AAU basketball game. This is from what? Yeah, Pango's Camp. I forget what year that was. Chicago Chargers. He actually played, played football at one point. He was pretty good. He was a, what was he? A wide receiver? He's always been a pretty good kid. Yeah. I've never had any problems out of him. A majority of these are mine. So Khalil got all his basketball talent from you, not Kelly. Correct. No. <laughs> I had a little something, something but nah, he got, he got that from his dad. It's in his jeans. This is my childhood house. We grew up here. So, you know, we here chilling. You know, I think it's an hour before I sign my letter of intent, you know. It's a vibe with the family, that's it. Just got my mom here, you know, just to touch down. We just got on the plane. And I had prom last night. She came out, got some, some nice flicks of me and my mom and my prom date. The photographer, Johnny, good job. Everybody said it looked like it was draft night. <laughs> I think I get all my swag. Everybody says it's my dad, but I say it's my grandfather. Look at him. Look like a little pimp right here with a look. Got his chest out. Got his chest out. <laughs> he got his chest out. Look, look like money, though. Matter of fact, I, I went to two proms. I had a nice blue suit and a cane, man. I was sharp. I was sharp, man. No, that's my grandfather right here. You feel me? All right, all right. You no, know, man. Big Kentucky fan, you know. Wise guy, always giving me words of encouragement. You know, just trying to be a better person every day. Go Khalil. Go Khalil, baby. You gonna go over here? <laughs> this is my uncle right here, man. I love him to death. He's like my brother. You feel me? I call him Big C Guap. He get to he get to the Fetty. <laughs> he get to the Fetty. Last. <laughs> That's the last. Yes. In the world. By everything. My sunshine. Remember that song? You yeah. Nah, we don't Great kid. I always have been. From the time he was born, everybody that saw him, saw something on him, I always said, he's blessed. He's going to be a blessed little dude. You know? He's blessed. No, no, open, no, open, no, open, mom, no, open. Auntie. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Don't do that! I know. Oh, oh, no. I know. My family needs a road to me, like I told you in the, in the first episode. Like my circle real tight. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Proud of you, boy. Proud. Just instill for me from a young age. You know, respect my elders, and you know, just be respectful to everybody, and just you know, try to put smiles on people's faces. He, he was, he was, <laughs> he used to run around that court, look, look. run around that court like a chicken with his head cut off. Wait, what you when you first started, how was your game? Oh, never mind. He didn't know how to dribble. <laughs> he didn't know how to shoot. He didn't know who was on his team. <laughs> he was just out there. What is he doing? But, hey, but he came a long way. If you'd have watched me back then, you'd be like, he has no future in this sport. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, that's where a lot of hard work and dedication gets you, so, hey. If you want to be in anything or be something, do something, you got to put in the work. You don't get caught up in these streets. Because, you know, around your surroundings, it's easy to get caught up in these streets. You know, easy to, you know, fall into trouble. Easy to get into trouble, but you can't get out of it. You got the drugs. Gang bangers selling drugs down the street. Growing up, it was a lot of drive-bys. A lot of drive-bys. We'd be sitting on the porch, eating nachos, eating chips, and the next thing you know, we all scrambling. We pushing each other over. I remember one day I pushed my mom because she was moving a little too slow. And I saw the car coming down the street. She turned around like, who pushed me? And I was like, uh, yeah, but it, it's, it's pretty bad. It's still going on today. No place to say. The kids are still going through that. Out every sense, they're still running from gunshots. 
it's still going on today. So I like the fact that he's going back, you know, giving the kids motivation and letting them know that no matter where you're raised or where you're from, dreams do come true. Plain and simple. You gotta put in the work. Yo, it's that day, big day, big day. Yo, talk to the camera. It's my little brother right here. It's the man with the plan. It's the man with the plan right here. Say something. What's your name? Bro? Tell me your name. Tyrese. What grade are you in? Third. Third grade, Tyrese Matthews. He next up. It's on the wingspan. Yes, yes. What a role model and inspiration. Uh, it shows them that with hard work and dedication, even though you're in a certain environment, you don't have to become a product of that environment. And as long as you have the support and all of that spiritual faith behind you, good things happen. I'm gonna try to get all of them. Kentucky's getting a great player. Once I heard about this man, I had no more questions about the signing because a lot of Kentucky fans panicked when he didn't sign early, and I was one of them. But um, once I heard how he was doing this, man, it's a great kid, man. It's a wonderful thing to do. I had no more questions. I am too proud of you. You know that. When you go to the NBA, I'm going to be like, this was that joker. <laughs> <laughs> this is it right here, man. When I sign it, I'll officially be a part of the, the Wildcats, Wildcats team. Uh, it's, like I said, it's a dream come true. Uh, if you asked me uh, three, four years ago, I never think I'm in this situation right now. Uh, I never told anybody, but Kentucky has always been my dream school throughout my recruiting process. It's way bigger than that piece of paper. Very intelligent young man is in the house tonight who uh, left his mark on Gregory Academy. He used to be a Gregory Tiger, and now he's uh, going to be a Kentucky Wildcat, right? So we're still in the cat family. Let's go. Cleo, I'm so proud of you. Yes. And your successes. Yes. And I'm so proud of you that you brought it back to your roots. Yes. yes. Today is an exciting day. No, today is an amazing day. I was uh, Khalil's 7th and 8th grade reading and uh, writing teacher. And this was in 2015, his 8th grade year. And uh, this morning when I was trying to find a memento from that class, I ran across this. And as I was thum thumbing through, I saw Khalil's actual paper writing about their wildest dreams. Their wildest dreams. And I don't know if Khalil remembers this, but tears came to my eyes because I found it this morning. And this is what Khalil Whitney wrote. My name is Khalil Whitney, and my dream is not quite the wildest one. My dream is to just succeed in life, no matter what obstacle comes my way. I want to go to the NBA, and I think I can't make it if I keep working the way I am. I want to attend the University of Kentucky. <laughs> If I have a good year playing basketball, I will enter the draft. If I get drafted, 
I would instantly move it, my mom into a house. I would give back to my community. But if you don't put the work in, nothing will come your way. For all the people who want to succeed in life, never give up because it's never over. Again, my name is Khalil. see the words, you know, the name, the University of Kentucky, I thought was just so powerful and just so awesome, you know, to see and to know that this is destiny. It's a big moment for me in my life, just knowing that everybody from here and from my community, you know, they get caught up in the wrong stuff. I'm gonna show these kids it's a different way in life. You can't do positive things. I was once in your seats, and you know, I had the wildest dreams, becoming an NBA player, you know, going to the University of Kentucky. Time coming, you know what I'm saying? BBN, you know, dreams do come true. The kids in the inner city of Chicago. BBN, Big Blue Nation. The process of giving the kids hope and guidance and also something to look forward to to the future is amazing. I think this is the blueprint of success, real success, not basketball success. It was a very great experience for me and my family coming out. I got a great, we had a great crowd, got some nice support. It just it's good, it feels good to come back and do something special. It's amazing. Come back to your city and get back. Everybody's talking about high school dragon, it's BBN dragging out. We out. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you.